okay guys um we back again uh now we need to 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 get the value of um this one d a and also the value of uh d uh b and also e b and um a e so that means now we need uh to concentrate on how to get these uh values here in this case so all other, all those other ones are um, this one we we, we determined all them here right but uh, remember here on this one we don't have uh d if it this one was d then that means we had everything here but then this one is always f now yeah, this is f so now to determine uh these values uh, of a d and uh, remember uh the value of um of d a is that it's our back uh it's our back stay this one uh it is a back stay and also our e a it's our back stay and then um we also need to get what our strat the strat which is what which is this two strat which is b uh, is d b and then also uh e d so then uh the first one uh to get uh which is our value of uh b uh d b the value of d b this one uh with the value of at of e a which is the strat so to get to the strat now uh we're going to uh take the value of um the value of uh o n yeah? so we're going to measure uh o n in the uh in our vector diagram so we're going to take this uh value of o n uh and then see it's um 4.4 right so this uh 4.4 we're going to measure straight on f b yeah? so this one is going to be uh 4.4 from this point and then uh, we're going to have this line of at this point so this point we can then name it o1 right so this uh, line now we're going to draw a line uh, parallel to eb right so that means from this point we're going to have uh, this line parallel so but then to make sure that your lines are parallel you can uh, always make uh, a, a, um, a straight line here to get the angle and take your and take your protractor like this and measure your lines here so therefore it's going to be parallel so this line is 25 and means from here you can measure your 25 here so that these two lines can will be uh, of the same line yes it's going to be something like this right so then we have we're going to have this point here and then we can name this point uh, Q right so then this can be our Q right so um, at this line now QB né, or QB will represent uh, the uh, lines of at of um db this one so it's going to be your line of db so that means uh when you measure this line now from here it's going to be uh your two it's going to be 2.2.2 2 or 2.35 um so we can oh sorry two point um yeah it's 2.4 or 2.35 so that means uh this one will be uh the uh the line of at the line of d b which will be the same as an as e b so it's going to be 2.4 kilo newton so this is your line of at of d b and then um this is how we're going to get at the line of d uh the line of d b here it's also uh the same as what as this line because now this triangle is um is equal you can see this triangle here 
is the same uh, uh, this triangle is equal when it's drawn in up to le num and then um we will draw we will do another example where this triangle is not uh, uh a quadrilateral triangle because now uh this this one was the same as this one so it's these two sides are the same which is are uh, um uh it's an isosceles triangle okay so then uh, now uh, we go, we'll continue to get on to get the value of uh, the back stay. So for our back stay, which is DA. So to get the DA now, we need to uh, transfer a value of A. So because uh, this A is not a true length, but then we can make uh, a true length. So we have to need, uh, we're going to need a compass in this point. So with a with f as our center, and then we're going to take uh, a as our radius, and then if a is our radius, we're going to make uh, an arc or a semicircle. Let's say it's an arc. Yeah, it will be an arc because we the point from here to this point, right? So when it intercepts this line, and now this is your a one. So when it intercepts this line, we just draw a straight line or we'll just project this line to this point. So this point now is going to be your A1, right? So then we can um, then uh, combine this line like this and then also combine this side also, right? Okay, so then now you have, um, this is your A1 and F. So then um, to get now uh, the line of the back stay, your back stay, remember your, your back stay is this side, and then it represented by this line of NL. Né? So to get NL on your um, the vector diagram, you will just take your line of NL here, the distance uh the distance now um uh, the measurement here it's 6.3 yeah? so you're going to take this 6.3 and measure it from this point going this direction so it's going to be 6.3 at this point 6.3 yeah, yeah so then you have this line yeah so if um uh, this is your 6.3 and then uh, this line we can name uh, this line as a, as your l1 or i1 so we can then say it's l1 you know, like this so from this point now you can uh, then uh, draw this line make sure that this line is parallel to this line so you can draw a parallel line from this point with this one right so that it intercept this line so you can just draw let's say from this point and have this line yeah so then we can name this one maybe p so it's always up to you how to name uh, this one but because i am following the example um actually i am oh uh, yeah i'm following the example on the test book, the one that I showed you, this is our uh, this is our test book that we are using, and then I'm trying to use, uh, I'm trying to explain what they have done here. So that is what uh, what is happening um, at this case, and then um, uh, the the I, I just took all the alphabet as they are from this uh, example, but you are. But you can uh, name uh, your, your your diagram uh, anyhow you like uh, to name as long as you will uh, as long as you will arrive at your final answers of getting this uh, uh, the, this um, vectors you know, uh, to get the force of um, da uh, and um, ae and also in, in so then now um, we're going to measure this line 
year to get uh, your 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 so uh, now vector p a this line uh, this one p a will be uh, our will give us our final answer that means when you measure this one now it's going to give us an three point um three point one two three point two okay so that means uh, this one is your uh final answer of a d a and e a which is going to be uh three point uh, two kilo newtons so this is your uh vector uh, your, your, this is your your vectors so now you have uh, determined all the vectors uh, on all the members in your, your your structure here so we started with this one and then now we got a uh, da we got a uh, db we got a uh, ea uh, which is the same as this one and then also got this one which is the same as this line here so now uh this is your your your, your final answer i hope you uh you guys uh like this uh videos and uh subscribe to the channel um and also share uh to other students yeah. and then i uh, will do the next uh questions uh where this lake are not uh, the same where we ha don't have uh, this triangle this triangle now uh, is a little bit easier because we have uh, to con uh, the sides are equal that's why uh, your value of a d on e a is the same because because of even if we can draw this parallel line this side uh, is or going to give us the very same answer here even uh, in this case when you can draw this line it's going to give us what the uh, same line so this is how you're going to determine the values of um, your backwash uh, your backstay and uh, your uh, your strut uh, and also to get your your arm and then also the the support uh, or with the uh, type bar and this is your type bar this is your arm this is your support and then uh, this side is where you get your uh, back state thank you